if you're like me, tool organization is very important. Once you have yourself a nice tool chest, you wanna make sure the tools that you're putting into those drawers stay where you want them. There's nothing that grinds my gears more than when you're opening up your drawer of your toolbox and the tools are rolling all over the place. The tool that's the most guilty of that is the screwdriver. Today's video, we're gonna look at how to make a custom organizer or holder for your screwdrivers. first thing you're going to want to do is lay out your screwdrivers and get the proper spacing. This will allow us to take the measurement for the total length of wood that we're going to need. Now knowing the length we need, we could transfer that mark onto our wood stock. For this project, I'm using a 3 quarter by 2 and a half inch piece of wood. I mark out my length and using a saw and miter box, cut it. With our wood cut, we can then transfer measurements onto it for our spacing for each individual screwdriver. Here, the X's represent the 10 screwdrivers. Using a one and one half inch hole saw, I am going to drill out holes at each of my X's. With our 10 holes cut, we can confirm that the handle fits inside, and using a saw, we're going to cut this piece of wood in half. With the wood ripped in half, you can see how the screwdriver is going to lie inside. We're now going to cut a second piece of wood that will be used to support the other end of the screwdriver marking the centers onto the new piece of wood and drilling half inch holes into it. Like we did with the larger holes, we will rip this piece of wood in half as well. Here I'm demonstrating how the screwdriver is going to lie and we need to measure for our distance between the two pieces using our shortest screwdriver. Once we have that measurement, those end pieces could be cut to length. Using a brad nail gun, the end pieces could be secured into place, assembling the complete unit as one. We can now sand the surface in preparation for paint. For the paint, I went ahead and covered it with a semi-gloss black. To protect the screwdriver handles, a thin weather stripping foam will be cut and placed in each of the individual cutouts for the screwdriver. And here is the finished product. As you can see, the screwdrivers no longer roll around and they are held firmly in place. Well, there you have it. A custom, cheap way to keep your screwdrivers organized and to stop them from rolling around as you open and close the drawer of your toolbox or tool chest. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.